Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 36 in chapter 25. Chapter 25 is about electric currents and resistance. So there you can see we have a higher dryer. The potential and difference is fixed, 120 volts. And then it has two settings, right? At P1, the power is 850 watt. And P2, the power becomes 1,250 volts. Ask you to find the resistance in each case. So first one, before you do the calculation, uh, making a guess at which setting do you expect the resistance to be higher? So now we can consider the equations in our test book to connect the power voltages and resistance together. Very straightforward, we can consider the equation as the power equals the voltage squared divided by resistance, right? From this equation, you can convert it, it reorganize it, and then get the function as the resistance R equal to V squared divided by P, right? Now we can see the V potential difference is fixed. Now the only change variable is P. And from this equation, we can see the resistance is inversely proportionally to the power of a constant voltages, right? So that means the higher the power, the smaller the resistance. Mm -hmm. In this case, we can see P1 is smaller than P2. So the smaller of the power, the higher resistance. So we can think the smaller a power, 850 volts, will bring the higher resistance. Agree? Yes. Now we can do this calculation by inputting the values. We can see R1 equals V squared over P1. So input this given quantities, you get is R1 as 17 ohms. Similarly, at is R2, we can see it is a V squared divided by P2, and then input V and P2, you can get the resistance for R2 as 12, 12 ohms. Thank you.